Merry Christmas from the Lakewoods! <laughs> and we just want to say a really happy Christmas to our dear Sally who can't be with us today. Merry Christmas, Sally! Merry Christmas, Sally. Merry Christmas and welcome to Awake Ones. I'm Alexandra Wenman. I'm Lorraine Flaherty. And today we want to introduce you to our dear friend Michaela, who is our <laughs> centre manager here at Awake Ones headquarters. Of course, of course. So Michaela, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy Yule! Thank you for being with us of today, course, honey. Of course, anytime. <laughs> and, uh, such a pleasure. We've wanted to get you on the show for ages. No, I've been meaning to come upstairs as well. So, uh, <laughs> manic, but you know, I'm here. Now and I can't wait. <laughs> We're all ships in the night, aren't we? Yeah. So, Michaela, to those of you who are watching, is kind of like part of our extended family, but we thought we'd have a little chat today about, you know, it's Christmas, it's families coming together. Yeah. So, what does it mean to you, Michaela, family and family gatherings? Family gatherings is my family, a big part of my life. Um, without a family gathering, it just makes me feel very off you know off balance if anything um so when we are together it's like a whole unit come together and you know you just rejoice everybody and you're just thankful that you have like these special people in your yeah. life and stuff but yeah it's it means everything just the love and energy without even the presence involved like just seeing them just makes me feel happy that makes my life <laughs> And you have a big, you have quite a big family, don't you? I do have a big family. Um, my dad is from Jamaica and my mum is from Barbados. Um, and then they were all spread out across America and Ireland and everything. Um, but my immediate family, I've got two brothers and one sister. And I have a little daughter. Yeah, she is born on Christmas Day as well. She's a Christmas so baby. Christmas baby. So, uh, She's yeah. the Messiah. <laughs> and her name is Isaiah. So, uh, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, so she came on Christmas Day and she has made my life just complete now. So oh, I'm really so happy. Cute. So happy to see like a mini me. <laughs> so is she helping with the cooking this Christmas? She'll be eating a lot <laughs> <laughs> and complaining if it doesn't taste correct. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so you know, she's a diva, so yeah, so she'll definitely let you know. So uh, we've got to make sure we're on point. <laughs> so yeah, and then so, and what are some of the main things that you guys get up to at Christmas? Because I know family times, it, it's you know often people are thrown together that yeah. don't see each other from yeah. one end of the year exactly. to the next it's so true, what are so. the kinds of things that you guys get up to we do obviously like catch ups and obviously we eat the food yeah, and yeah. we open the presents and stuff and we see the faces when they open the presents whether they like it or not <laughs> <laughs> keep the receipt <laughs> Um, but we play the Wii, we play board games, we're kind of like just like a traditional type yeah. family where you yeah. just get together, have fun, drink and be merry. So, <laughs> yeah, so but it, it's uh, just, it's an amazing time in my house. It's loud, loud people, very loud, but uh, we have a good time and we enjoy it. Are there any cultural things from Barbados or Jamaica that you guys incorporate into Christmas? Um, so Christmas, I think it's quite basic. To be honest with you, I don't think there's any cultural aspects around it, but I guess, you know, just having the family together is just one thing, you know, that we all need, really. So that's one thing that we love. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and obviously you've shared with us that, um, you know, you have a very sort of special guest that appears. Yes. I mean, she's special for lots of different reasons because mums are always very important. Of but, course. But your mum's quite special, isn't she? She is very special. <laughs> she's been special since 14 years old. And uh, she, uh, my mum is Heather Hayward. She was in a band, still is in a band called The Cool Notes. They were big in the 70s, 80s uh, time. They were amazing. Big hits from Spend a Night, In Your Car, and then they had also reggae songs as well, yeah. which were quite big. Lorraine loves it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. I was so excited when I found out. The Cool Notes, I remember them. Was it showing my age? Because, you know, when you're in your 50s, that's kind of your era. So, I was like, oh my 
god, I remember seeing them on top of the <laughs> box. <laughs> exactly, in the fish tail yeah. dresses, yeah. size fours and stuff. I'm like, how did you breathe? But um, yeah, so she is still singing as well. Um, you can still see her on YouTube as well. But um, yeah, yeah, she's. And so, is there any singing that happens at Christmas? Do you wheel her out and make her perform? <laughs> I know, well, because we're so used to hearing. My mom sings probably every single day like you hear her humming or you know she's like on the phone watching herself <laughs> <laughs> why wouldn't you as I my mean, father would say on, yeah we gotta you, perfect you your have to support yourself as yeah. well you've got to love yourself so she uh we see hear her sing all the time yeah sometimes i go to her gigs and i you know hear her sing and just see how people um just warm to her and they're just like oh god and they want to hear more <laughs> even if it's like 1 a.m i'm just like i'm tired but, you know but but I'm yeah, about. but she 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 gives back to the people as well. Just her voice is just something that makes them happy, yeah. and I think that's probably what you know resonates in me as well. Where um, even though I don't sing, I sing with my mom sometimes, but just that love that she has for people, yeah, um, and you know, just to make that you know lights visible, up world, yeah, yeah, lights up as well. So I think that's just the kind of. What's your favorite song that your mom sings? I love my mom's. Um, my, it's called My Tune. It's a, a reggae song. I love reggae. She's done a lot of lovers rock type songs as oh. well. So um, that is my favourite song. Definitely. <laughs> we'll see if we can find a clip of it yes. to share. Yes, definitely. Yes, yeah. in the studio when she was 18 years old. So wow. yeah, it's, wow. it's live. So it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> she's yeah. still, and she's still doing it. She's still going strong. She's still going brilliant. strong. That's one thing about my mum. She loves singing and you know just the fact that she stuck to it as well yeah. you know nothing's stopping her yeah, yeah, so you know she's healthy she's vibrant she's got the ability to get up and you yeah. know help others as well so yeah, yeah so and she's never had a break from it has she she's no, kept going no she's Christmas. kept going yeah either in studio or she's doing her gigs you know touring around you know going to france or wherever in europe and you know south carolina as well yeah. so yeah she gets about and stuff so because yeah, these days you've got a lot of bands that sort of made it big when they were young had a yeah. break and then came back but yeah she's got that longevity exactly that's the thing and that's the thing with bands as well like when there's so many personalities together they clash yeah. but when you have like people that you can gel with in yeah. a band then you know and is it the like, same is it the same people still same so it's just um the, there's two others there was they was an eight piece band right but obviously they went their separate ways um but now it's just like her and the producer yeah. and the one that basically got them together yeah. as a band that they're working with now Fantastic. making new music yeah. and i've heard some stuff so it sounds amazing and your little girl does she sing she loves singing oh my gosh she's like a mini my mom Anytime she sees my mum watching herself on the phone, <laughs> she's like da, 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 singing along, <laughs> trying to. She's two, coming up to two years old, so she's uh, dancing. She loves music, loves making music as well. So I think that musical aspect is definitely in her. So, yeah, so yeah. she's passed on the she's gene. She's passed on the gene, definitely. <laughs> so yeah, she's got her own little microphone and keyboard at home. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. she's practicing and she loves looking at herself in the mirror as well. She's so scared because I'm like. <laughs> She loves it. Yeah. So she she's they she's say things skip a generation, don't yeah, they? It's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's gone to Zaya, so yeah. Well, has Maybe. she put her uh, letter to Santa in yet? Does she she hasn't just yet. She uh I know from her first birthday when she opened up her presents, she was just playing with the paper, so I was just like <laughs> What do you do with like a child who just wants to play with paper? Yeah. Yeah. Buy them more paper. Yeah. So. <laughs> Stationary baskets. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, now she likes the laundry basket, so she said it might be a nice Christmassy laundry basket. It's an easy it's Christmas, isn't it? Very easy, very cheap and cheerful. <laughs> Pound shop, they'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, and this is something that we talked about on our last Christmas show as well, wasn't it? About how Christmas can sometimes be, yeah, you know, overly materialistic. Yeah. And it's all about the big presents it and how really much people is. are spending yeah. and the stress that it creates it's for people. So much stress. And I think if you can do things simply, yeah, and there's so many things that you can get that are more meaningful. If you make something, than, yeah, yeah, making exactly, stuff. Yeah, so I know yeah. we're doing, I think your family's doing it as well, aren't you doing Christmas Secret, Secret Santa? Secret Santa. Yeah. So, so many ideas. of us. Such it's a like, good idea. Yeah, yeah. So we really did it last year for the first time and it's such a good idea because everybody gets something. Yeah. And there's more likelihood that you're actually going to get something that you want. want. Or, yeah. And even if it, 
it's just something silly. Yeah. It's just you know. enjoyable for everybody. Exactly. It takes all that yeah. pressure off. Christmas so. is more for the kids anyway. Yeah, so yeah, just definitely. to see them. So when it's like grown adults, I'm like, okay, what do I get? Like, for instance, my dad, another jumper. I know. So, you know. Socks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's Socks. exactly what he's getting. So it's just a thing where, you know, you just tend to think about what you would need yeah. at that age and stuff when you get older yeah. rather than the things that you would want and stuff, yeah so. and it is a magical time for children yeah isn't it? Mm. yeah definitely that's what i love as well because it brings everyone together but the kids especially just seeing their faces it yeah. just makes me smile so when we think about the, the like the true meaning of it and mm. the pagan calendar mm. and what it was all about which was yule and the yule time yeah. wasn't it? and it was yeah, the yeah, drawing yeah. in and simplifying your life yeah. and yeah. kind of you know you know going inward and 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 looking within and kind of mm. seeing i guess what you need what you what you need, what what your gifts are, exactly. and you know, the dying exactly. off of something in order to blossom into something yeah, else when exactly. spring comes. Yeah. So yeah, 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 I suppose yeah. it is a magical time, isn't it, for that yeah, from that perspective as well? Yeah, no, most definitely, most definitely. So it's a very family orientated type thing, and just a gathering of people as well. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's just good. Yeah. <laughs> you sort of remember what's important, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, no, most definitely. And I think the fact that. It's the only time of the year when everything kind of closes down, mm. where business is closed yeah, down. Yeah, and like everyone actually, has to... You, I mean, you have to, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm quite anti having to do things because society <laughs> says that you have to, but exactly. I do see that that is a benefit because you have to stop. Yeah. You have to yeah. take a break at that point. You do, you do. Because you're working, like, if you think about it, in the, you know, modern day society, yeah. you're working, like, 11, well, 12 months straight, in a sense. Yeah. You get, like, two weeks to yourself, and that's when, you know, you need to use those two weeks, you know, responsibly, and, you know, yeah. just to, you know, be with your loved ones. So. Yeah, but, but Christmas time really is, there's no excuse, there's no getting around it, yeah, you just no. got to go and be with family exactly. and enjoy. Just relax, take a deep breath from yeah. what you're used to. Well, yeah. It's interesting because I'm normally away at Christmas. Like Tony and I, the husband and I, tend to kind of chase the sun. And if we're not in Australia with my family, mm. which is when it's hectic, chaos, yeah. amazing yeah. family <laughs> time. But, you know, every other year we've pretty much just taken off and gone, well, we're just going to not avoid Christmas, yeah. but, you know, just leave and go leave on a holiday. Yeah. And this year is probably the first time in a long time that we've, it looks like we're going to be here in London for Christmas, wow, but yeah. I'm loving it. I just, I, you know, I used to love the magic of having Christmas in yeah. the UK because it's cold and it's how the yeah. storybooks yeah, were. It's exactly, like yeah. really Dickensian and like, yeah. you know, the, the drizzle and the fog and the exactly. creepy looking wintry trees. <laughs> yeah. so I'm walking around like I'm in a storybook at yeah. the moment. Yeah, like, no, it's Ooh. so true. And then suddenly when the snow starts, it's like, that's when it makes you feel even more yeah. like Christmas. Yeah. It's just like, <gasps> and so last year I ended up in Cork where my mum's from and it's, where they where they live is a little village called Lep, and uh, it's it's quite near the ocean, but it's a tight it's a fairly small village you know post office yeah. church yeah, yeah, couple yeah. of pubs yeah. Yeah, you know exactly. it's, it's not a huge place, yeah. but it's actually really been put on the map because there's a guy there who has a, a a business, and whether it's Halloween whether it's Christmas, every year whenever there are big celebrations, yeah. he creates a whole wonderland. Oh, so when wow. I went last year. They've created, it was literally, <laughs> it's just incredible. They had, you know, Santa's Helper Workshop and a whole winter wonderland with polar bears. Oh, and, and my aunt, bless her, whatever it is that they're doing over there, my aunt is always so involved. So she was actually Mrs. Christmas. And the kids go in and you do the, the, the little rounds to all these different magical places oh, and it's all very interactive. Yeah. So she was there making gingerbread biscuits and the kids were in there with the dough and cutting them up and That's putting them amazing. in the oven. I was going to say, what's your favourite Christmas food? My favourite Christmas food is probably, I don't know actually. Mm, oh, no, I do actually. Um, uh, it's the overnight soaked marrow fat peas. Ooh. Mushy peas, which I actually have a phobia of garden peas, which is really weird. I can't Mm -hmm. eat, like, no, can't eat those little green poppy. No. (laughs) But the overnight soaked peas, they make my Christmas dinner. Um, Because I don't eat turkey or ham. Yeah, no. I'm being mainly vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, So 
Yeah, so that's kind of my substitute. So I love a roast dinner. Mm. Love all of the veggies yeah, yeah, and all, yeah. bits, all, exactly the, all the bits same. that go with it. But yeah. yeah, those peas, and we only have them once a year because they're a palaver because you have to soak them overnight. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And they're just my Christmas treat. So. Yeah. What about you, Michaela? Well, my mum, obviously, Barbados, rum. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> the rum cake where she soaks the raisins mm. from like last month and uh, then she makes the rum cake and having that with a bit of custard oh, nice. yeah so I mean good. on top of all the other rum that we've been drinking throughout the rest of Christmas and stuff but the cake itself is just amazing because it's homemade mother's touch and it, yeah, lovely. that taste of Barbados as well is just amazing right. so yeah on, we're, we're available for a piece of that yeah of course <laughs> of course <laughs> can't say yeah of course of course don't worry I can't Good. Yeah, my mum does an amazing Christmas pudding as well, but she does the brandy flambe. Oh, she yeah. flambes yeah, it. My mum does that as and well. And she puts the, she hides coins in it so you get money right. in your Christmas pudding. Oh, you have to wow. be careful not to break the tip. <laughs> I remember one year she flambeed the whole Chris, the whole kitchen cupboard. Like, <laughs> this whole blue flame, she nearly burnt the house down. But she also does these, she makes these amazing, I don't know what they're called. But I don't. I've never actually thought about it before. But it's yeah. just come to mind now, yeah. and I've never um, had them anywhere else. But she makes these beautiful little, almost shortbread biscuits yeah. with this. Um, they have cloves pressed into them, and right. then this du- dusting of um, icing sugar on top. And these things melt in your mouth. I have to oh. ask her what they're called because I forgot about them. Yeah. She, it's always something that my mum has, but it's something yeah. that's kind of there on the side that she has yeah. just around the yeah. house when it's Christmas. But wow. you almost take it for granted. Yeah. But yeah. the taste of it with the clove and the icing sugar, mm. it's like melt in your mouth. Really? And it's, I've just thought of it now. I must ask. Let's get the recipe. It's like a shortbread. Yeah. I think we should yeah. also yeah. bring in the Delicious. food that we're talking exactly. about. Exactly. And then we can sit there and have a feast. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and that's the thing, and that, but I've also learned because over the years Christmas was always a nightmare because mm-hmm. you eat too much food and then just feel really just bloated out, and sick yeah. and yeah. pass out. Yeah. So I have learned restraint over the yeah. last few years, which is amazing. Yeah. So instead of yeah. just piling my plate up or just keep going back and having more, I will actually watch what I eat. So yeah. I have a sensible it's amount so of food, true. and then I can go and pick yeah. a little bit later on yeah. and have it's more stuff. So, so it makes so much sense yeah. than to just go in gung ho and eat everything <laughs> much better now it's we used to eat at night we wouldn't have a Christmas lunch we'd have right. a, a, a like a, a Christmas dinner because in Australia yeah. obviously 35 degree heat oh, wow. we'd all be sat around the air conditioning unit <laughs> like you, so we, my mum does this amazing like you get up she'll do a champagne brunch oh, wow. so when everyone wakes up you yeah. do brunch and then you open your presents after brunch oh, yeah, yeah. And, then yeah we kind of do that. and then you go and have a swim or you go to the beach or you like you know just sleep or lounge because breakfast Sounds is quite big amazing. and then you eat all over again but she does the full like ham turkey chicken oh, you did do the race dinner she then? does the whole thing really oh traditional God. she decks yeah. it yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds town. amazing like especially because it's not cold and it's not it's not to, like, cold I know yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the thing that's yeah. why when I first moved to the UK I was like Wow, cold Christmas! It is yeah. actually how I used to. Yeah. It's like you should be decorating like a palm tree instead of. Yeah. Like <laughs> she did that one year. She like spray painted a eucalyptus tree gold. It was had all these weird apples. I think she'd seen it in house and garden. Yeah. So I thought it was cool. But I we we used to have the traditional like Christmas tree and everything yeah. and the smell of the, the yeah pine. the pine and stuff. Gorgeous, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. It's really weird. We they do in Australia sometimes throw these weird Christmas in July parties because it's winter. So you have these weird oh, Christmas right, yeah. in July balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really random. Crazy. Very yeah. strange. Yeah. We do things upside down. <laughs> 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 But we should also give a bit of a nod to where where we are as well. Because you yeah. are our centre manager yes, for the uh, the boutique boutique workplace company. Yes, boutique boutique workplace company service who. Office. So have service offices and they are they're all over London, aren't they? Yeah, all over London all over and London. in Wimbledon. Yeah, so we're growing. We're now at thirty sites now. Yeah. So and some um, of the nicest people I to work say, with. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've I was I've been in lots of different places trying to find offices and stuff, yeah. and it's just such a joy. And yeah. obviously this one makes oh, it I'm all you know. it's like, oh, I'm like you're, you're attaching to me <laughs> so amazing. Amazing. But but it's like it's such a yeah. 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 I just such an amazing company with like when you come to work you, you know you spend most of your time at work as yeah. well 
why not try and make it like you're at home? So exactly. with the buildings, yeah. they've chosen like buildings, like some buildings which are like, you know, 17th century Georgian buildings, and yeah. they're like home. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like you're working and stuff. So rather than being at a desk and you're just behind the screen all the day, yeah. all day you know, you're, you're actually able to like walk away from your um, office and go and grab a coffee, grab a chat with me. <laughs> we've got beautiful furniture in here. <laughs> and she's <laughs> and she's like, she's she always like, we've got this beautiful Christmas tree yeah, and decorations. I try my best and, and try to throw as much, you know, events as possible for you guys as yeah. well. Because, and then we, you have know, Christmas, we have Christmas lunch tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so. so pizza. <laughs> pizza. 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 I love it. So, if you had a, 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 a an inspiring message to share with people this Christmas, what would your message be? Give back, definitely give back. Um, I think with Christmas, people wait until the end of the year to acknowledge those who yeah. haven't got anything. You see it all over the TV with like you know the homeless people. Like last month, I saw one elderly lady, and she sits just down the road in right. Victoria, and she's got the umbrella over her. And there's like these tourists that are just taking pictures in front of a statue, but right in front of her. And I just thought that them. was so inconsiderate because it was freezing. So I just went up to her and I was just like, are you okay? Would you like something to eat? She said, no. I was just like, I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> I grabbed her some soup and some mangoes and she was so happy. She opened it straight away. I was just like, you know, just, I don't think it's a thing where we should give back, you know, only because, you know, it's cold and it's the time of the year mm, for yeah. gathering with family should always do it every you know every mm. time you get a chance yeah mm. yeah so yeah. that's just one thing yeah. i definitely would say absolutely and i and i think it's really important as well to remember that it can be stressful suddenly when mm. you're thrown in yeah. with people that you don't see from one end of yeah. the year to the next so and when there's a lot of different personalities coming together and i know that last year with my family we were all just really happy to see each other mm. and it just no one <laughs> had any issues or any it just it just completely flowed we mm. were all just in a really happy place yeah. happy to see each other yeah. everyone just got on with it exactly. we all just helped out everyone yeah. did their little bit yeah. so you know it is a time to just be thankful like you said mm. to be thankful to be in a state of gratitude mm. and if you can just try and be the best version of you mm. and see the best mm. in the people are around you yeah then I just think that it makes it a really wonderful time and it doesn't have to be stressful. I think people nice. think that it's going to be yeah. and therefore it is. So I think if, if people just give themselves permission to have fun, enjoy it and whatever happens, yeah. you know, whatever, whatever it is that people want to do, just mm. have a go, just mm. let go, don't worry about yeah, what you look like. or spread the positive exactly, exactly, spread exactly, the love. Yeah. yeah, we haven't got time for all the hate and stuff. Like, no, exactly. what's going on in the world? Yeah, leave that to the government they don't yeah, even know what they're doing too. so I think it's a good time for stillness as well yeah. and yeah. like you know that with that drawing in that uh, in winter obviously but even like mm. you know you, you, a lot of people are travelling home to family and whatever but to take a bit of time for yourself you know we're not working mm. we're a lot of people having time off work so yeah. just to spend time in stillness and just centering and yeah. finding your anchor and, yeah. and I guess you know mm. that that kind of that pairing back yeah it's a bit like pruning a rose bush then you've got more energy when the new year comes to kind yeah. of step out yeah. and, and and blossom again it's true so true just start fresh you know yeah. just go into the new year with a positive mindset exactly you know that's just the best thing you can do Indeed. Yes. Oh, thank you so much thank for joining us today, honey. Oh, I know we got you yeah. on here. <laughs> we can celebrate with some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> pizza and prosecco. Pizza and prosecco. Oh, <laughs> so, would you like to take the to say thank you for this lovely one, but thank you to you as well for watching and all your support throughout the year. And we are hoping to bring you more insights, more inspirations, and uh, you know, do do send us your you know, questions or, or thoughts and anything that we can share with you <laughs> as the year, you know, that as the year ahead comes up. Comes, yeah. We're always here trying to spread the conscious conversation. Of course, we have to. So from all of us here at Awake Ones, Merry Christmas season greetings! Merry Christmas! Christmas. Christmas.